this weekend, starting on Friday, July 19th, we are starting a full weekend of both educational and healthcare components in addition to entertainment. On Friday, we have MyCom Reads, which is hosted by MyCom. That is going to be a focus on back to school, educational components, and we will also have some healthcare aspects for back to school physicals that some of the sports players need, and back to school backpacks, and other emphasis on especially the Wet Yes program. Saturday is going to be the more traditional. We will have Care Alliance, who is our main health care provider. They will be doing testing on pretty much every disease. You're talking about high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, you're talking about cholesterol, you're talking about HIV, and oh, by the way, you're having all day concerts. We have regional and local uh, groups that are coming in, like Hubs Groove, The Benjamin, Con Kanye Dawes. Um, and we also have national recording acts such as After Seven and Raheem Devon. Um, so it's going to be an all-day event for two days straight. Uh, Friday is going to start at 3 p.m. and run till about 7.30 at night. Again, the emphasis is going to be on youth and young adults. There will be entertainment with uh, Ashley Fulton, who is a, a fantastic young artist. I think she's about 18. She's just graduated from school. And we also have Forecast, who is a local and regional and really national artist, but they're here in Cleveland. They will be the entertainment lineup for Friday. Saturday again, the day will start at 1 p.m. for the first up, which is the Benzamins, and then it will go to Dub Flex for a little reggae feel, and then, you know, it will start building from there. All day you'll have access to different vendors, food trucks, you name it, you'll have it. Um, and it'll be all day. The weather's supposed to be beautiful, so we're just asking for everybody to come out and come out in the, in the, in the tone of peace and safety. must be emphasized that this is a community event. It's not one council person's event. It's not our event. It's not any individual's event. This isn't being used for any political gain. This is just about the, the, the community, safety, joy, fun, and most of all, peace and safety. Um, we will be recognizing Mr. Reed on that day at the very beginning of the event to give him an award and an acknowledgement. Uh, the council people could probably speak to that. Uh, uh, Councilman Johnson, if you would, please. Thank you, Nick. We um, have decided to come together and put this on and make it a big, big event, a big successful event. And the theme of it is, is unity today, as, as the director has said, we have suspect that we will uncover a lot of diabetes and a lot of high blood pressure among our constituents. Therefore, the, the health component of it. We are together, the five of us, uh, to put this on, and we have all chipped in some money. We'll all be there uh, to meet our constituents. And the, the focal point that we want to stress more than anything else is to stop the violence. Stop the violence on the southeast side of Cleveland. This, this event is the biggest event uh, in the black community. Um, we decided to put 100 policemen, plain clothes, regular clothes, detectives, all of it, to make it a safe, successful event. To, uh, our majority leader, uh, well, Our majority leader, Phyllis Cleveland, um, who represents Ward 5, will expand on what I've just said to you a little bit, and so will my other colleagues, Kevin Bishop and Joe Jones and Blaine Griffin. Thank you, Councilman. Good morning, all. Thank you, Councilman Johnson. And first of all, I want to say thank you to Nick Perry and to Rashawn Sample, our community executive directors and visionary leaders who are, have taken the helm and really 
made sure that this event is going to be a wonderful, wonderful testament to what it used to be in the past and what it will continue to be in the future to our communities. Again, uh, this is, you know, not just it's not just going to be one day. What you see here is the beginnings of a collaboration on the southeast side of Cleveland. We, we all know the challenges we face in terms of public health, uh, violence, youth violence, crime, literacy. And we are working together, lead and other issues. We're working together. We recognize that we can do more united, more working together, collaborating than any one individual war can do. And I think you know, what you see here is the beginnings of something that's going to be really good in leading and, and helping in the uh, revitalization of the southeast side of Cleveland. And so I'm just very pleased to be a part of it. Uh, again, we're going to do everything we can. We've all contributed, and I think we've all committed that, you know, we're all going to be together. We're together in this fight, you know, along with the community. And so we look forward to it. It's going to be a great time on Saturday and Friday. Uh, great music. Uh, good old school music like everybody's used to and looking forward to. I was at the park yesterday and people were really excited to hear that the concert is coming back. And I think they're going to be very pleased with the efforts that come along with that. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilwoman Cleveland. Uh, I want to say thank you first uh, and foremost to, to Nick Perry for being the uh, lead person on this uh, on this event. I want to thank Roshan, Roshan Sample and everybody that's worked hard to put this event together. Uh, I am delighted to be here uh, today because I am and I feel like I am part of a team, a team of elected officials who have come together to show the community that family is about unity. And we are here on a united front. We all chipped in and we're all excited. Uh, we want our constituents to come out and to, to take charge of their health. Come out and, and, uh, and, and get your blood pressure checked, bring your family, bring your friends, uh, and, and uh, take, a, uh, um, and take uh, um, advantage of these services that we are offered. So again, I want to say uh, thank you to Nick Perry I want to invite all Clevelanders out, east and west, because this is truly a family event, and we want to show the city of Cleveland that we have unity on the southeast side. Thanks. To Reverend Ward, to um, Mr. Perry, to um, my colleagues, Mr. Twyman, to um, Roshan Samples, to um, Ken Johnson to Phyllis Cleveland, Kevin Bishop, and, and my colleague, Blaine Griffin. This is the very first time the Lee Harvard War I area has participated uh, in a southeast side kind of event. And I think that it's important because it brings everyone together on a couple of themes. And one of them is dealing with health. As we know, our community is struggling with health issues uh, and also the other issue is safety and security. Uh, we, have, uh, we have needs in our neighborhood. We should feel safe in our neighborhoods and our communities as other communities feel safe. Uh, we have a number of issues in our neighborhood. So it shouldn't just be a focus, in, at least from our perspective, uh, just on entertainment. But it should also be also concerning education, housing stability. You know, not only just the, the health and well-being, but also economic security. All of these things play a part on the reasons why our community is sick in a sense of dealing with um, uh, the issues that we find ourselves with right now, our health and violence. If we have economic security and stability in our community, we can we could pay for health care. If we have educational opportunity and choices in our educational system, uh, it makes us a little bit more smarter, and it also helps us to stabilize our neighborhood. So all of this is a part of everything. So that though we're having this event and we want to educate people, we're entertaining them also. So it's, a, it's knocking out two birds with one stone. Uh, entertaining and educating the people and the population. And bringing all the wars together is really important. The southeast side of the city of Cleveland is a very strong, 
portion of the city of Cleveland that must be maintained. We must have investment if we are to survive, and we must be prepared to educate our young people. Not to educate our young people destroys the future of the city of Cleveland, and it hurts the city of Cleveland as a whole. So I'm honored to have the opportunity to be up here uh, speaking uh, before my colleagues, and I'm humbled uh, at the fact that um, this is an event that was started well before me, and hopefully if it is God's will, it will continue. With that, thank you so much to all of those who are playing a very significant and important part, uh, Mr. Perry, um, and, and your leadership here and, and putting this together and your vision. I just want to say thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Nick and Nick Perry and Rashawn for really bringing this party with a purpose back to the community. This has always been the community's party. Even though we have several sponsors and even though um, all of us are contributing dollars, this is really the community's party. It's not one of us individually, it's the community's party. I also think that this is setting the tone for what we want to see on the south side. What a lot of people don't realize is that council is not a collection of individuals, it's a body. And all of the people that you see here today represent a body, a body that has decided to come together to make sure that we address all of the health disparities that we have in the community, the safety issues and concerns that we have in the community, but also to make sure that we celebrate the pride of this community. The pride of this community is important. We represent some, hysterical, some historical neighborhoods. When you have Lee Harvard, Mount Pleasant, Union Miles, uh, Buckeye Shaker, Woodland Hills, all of these neighborhoods, the central area of Cleveland, we represent some great neighborhoods. So we take pride in being able to bring this event back to the community. Uh, I just witnessed two great events yesterday with the uh, Woodland John Hay event that took place at uh, Arthur Woods Park and the Down the Way uh, party that Councilwoman Cleveland supported along with several of the people who grew up in the uh, central area of the city of Cleveland. No incidents. So as much as we like to hear about um, in the community, we hear so much about the bad and the terrible things and the losses that we have and the violence that we experience in the community, this is still a community full of great people a community full of pride, a community that's going to sit back and enjoy all of these folks. And I don't know about everybody here, but I'm really looking forward to hearing all of the local acts from the Benjamins, Kanye Doss, Sarah's Girl, Hubs Groove, and all of those other folks, as well as making sure that we hear from great national acts like After Seven and Raheem Devine. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to really enjoy this week. We want all of Cleveland to come out to enjoy yourself, to be safe, and most of all, to be proud of your community and take advantage of all of these health um, screenings and all of the things that we're doing. We have Bishop Eugene Ward here representing the Mount Pleasant Ministerial Alliance and Greater Love Baptist Church, who is here. He's going to bring a lot of his clergy and a lot of his friends going to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a weekend to remember in the city of Cleveland, and thank you to all of the folks that work so hard on the ground to really make this happen because this really is a great city that we live in. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, as you have heard, thank you all, uh, council people. Um, as you have heard, this is bigger than just a neighborhood. This is about the city of Cleveland. This one event is a huge economic engine for not only the southeast side, but the city as a whole. We've got private and public funding. We've got vendors who really make their whole annual year's uh, profit off of this event. So it's, it's several different components that are all coming together, but this is only the beginning. He touched on excellent points by saying all of the wards are coming together. We are working diligently to knock down what has been ailing us over the years here on the southeast side, and that means that, you know, working in silos and, you know, I'm not going to collaborate with you and, and all of that. Well, you see what's happening. We're all collaborating. We're all here in one room. We're all working together. They have put, put in both financially and physically. So with that said, uh, we're going to open it up for any questions. Do we have any? Yes. Yeah, you've all touched on the importance of the health screening. 
what is this going to look like when a resident wants to show up? Um, are you having medical professionals from specific hospitals? How is that going to work? Well, it's going to work very simply. And when you come into the event and, and people who have come here over the years, there is a giant tent uh, that will be manned by Care Alliance. They are also bringing their uh, trucks. So from there, if you need health screenings, you would come to that main tent and those individuals will send you to whatever tent or the truck if you need vision, if you need dental. We've got pretty much everything that you need. So once you come into the park and you're in the main bowl area, which will be closer to the stage, you will see that health tent and they'll be able to direct you to the appropriate uh, location. Yes, Robin. Not as much as a question, but a statement. I would like to thank all of you guys for sitting up here together in unity to start the opportunity for our community to gather in unity to understand we have to work together, not separate. And this is the first in since the division of the wards, this is the first that all the council have came together mm -hmm. and worked together. And so to see this occurring with our CDCs. This is awesome start for the beginning of a new beginning for Mount Pleasant neighborhood. Thank you, Robin Brown. Now, this is uh, Robin Brown and, and Ms. Hurd, who, who are two stalwarts here in the southeast side who really love the neighborhood. They work very closely with all the council people and us, both Rashawn and I, to make things happen. So I do appreciate those, those comments. Any other questions? Yes, Bill. Actually, in a pair of them. Um, first one is, the funding for the event, I know it comes from diverse sources. Correct. Uh, Nonprofit donations, uh, but also from these members. Could you sort of break that down of sort of what it takes to put this on? And do you have any uh, attendance expectations? In, in, I think 15,000 ish to 20,000 a couple of years. Yeah. Is there a point? Uh, th this seems like it's casting a broader net that you could have more than that. Is there a a sense of how many people you might drop assuming you get weather like today. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll answer your, your first question. This is a very unique collaboration of funding uh, from both private and public dollars. Each one of the council people put in dollars uh, from various locations. Of course, uh, Ken Johnson is using his Councilmatic Day. Um, which brings in all of the services that the city can provide. But we also have donors and sponsors uh, who are paying into this as well. And you'll see those thank you banners where we acknowledge those. Um, a lot of them are local you know, companies. Some are larger. Uh, we do have nonprofits that are, are working with us, like St. Like Luke's Foundation and uh, the Cleveland Foundation as well. Um, and both myself, and this agency, Mount Pleasant and Union Miles, are putting up. Um, so it's everyone, it's all the hands on deck uh, in order to make this happen. Um, now, what this is going to look like on the other side, my accountant's going to be a little upset, but, you know, it's, I think it's, it's, it's more important on the bigger picture. Matter of fact, after this, we, I'm going down here to meet with my accountant and tell him, you know, this is why this, this account's looking like this. But the, the main objective is to do whatever we can here on the southeast side, which in my estimation is one of the most important quadrants of this city. Uh, Kinsman is, is one of the main thoroughfares that, that connects some of the higher capita neighborhoods, your Shakers, your Beechwoods, your Pepper Pikes that come through here. And to, to make this southeast side a destination <laughs> spot, you know, where people can feel safe and come here and have things to do. That's what the emphasis is going to be. This is just a jump off to a much broader and bigger uh, projects that we have in place. Uh, now, to, to, to your, uh, your second uh, question, we are anticipating a very large turnout, primarily because it didn't happen last year, um, and we're adding that secondary day to it. Um, and, you know, hopefully, depending on how it goes, we'll add a third day to this. But I think that from both a neighborhood perspective and a citywide perspective, that this is, like, like Councilman Johnson said, this is one of the largest festivals in the black community that we have. And I would dare say one of the largest in the city. Of course, you've got to taste of Tremont and, and Little Italy. But here on the southeast side, to have something this large 
uh, that is touching on so many different people and having the health and education component. And oh, by the way, you're going to be entertained and let your hair down. You know, if I had some, I'd let it down and blow in the wind, but you know, it's a little, little, little too late for that. But the bottom, yeah, you know, had the beautiful golden locks. But the bottom line is, it is truly about the people here. And we have to emphasize, it's not about whose title or whose ward or, who, or what my title, it's really about the people. And if I can just make this thing go on and not even show up, I would love to do that. Um, just, that's just how important it is to me and to us as a whole that it isn't about one individual's name on a banner or anything like that. It's just about unity. And unlike a lot of the other festivals, it's affordable to everybody. Yeah, it's can't right. be free. <laughs> everybody can afford free last time I checked. Yes, Ms. Hurt. Okay, question. Uh, with this, with the council people all sitting here, with this being an introduction to the revitalization of Mount Pleasant. Is Mount Pleasant now going to be following up not only with the events, but with press releases, with stories, with things that are saying, we are starting, but we're building momentum. Mm -hmm. And just because, you know, I don't see any press. I don't see anything in the paper. Mm -hmm. I don't see any information going forth mm -hmm. about what's happening here. Mm -hmm. And as you know, if a group of people are ill-informed, mm -hmm. they don't have a clue. So no matter what you do, they aren't going to treat it with that reference. Right, right. Well, to touch on your point, I've been here now a little over 18 months. And before I can really get out and, and talk about us, I had to fix the house. You know, I had to get my house in order here. Um, and one of the things I do want to emphasize is, yes, this is just being used as a part of a bigger, broader um, um, project that we're going to be working on. But I do want to emphasize the new evolving relationship that Mount Pleasant Nile Development Corporation and Union Miles Development Corporation is embarking on. Um, there's going to be some very unique things that are going to be happening over the next six months that will have a definite impact on a positive note on the entire southeast side, not just Mount Pleasant, but these whole corridors. Um, as we start to evolve, we've been using social media platforms uh, to you know, get the word out as we evolve, but more importantly, we're going to start using the news more and having a conversation. Bill, I'm going to set them up with a, with a desk here. Uh, in a cubicle, you, you don't know yet, but um, he's going to be set here. We're going to have a little mini station for Channel 5 and, and our other channels here so they can be set up here because you have to tell people the good news. There's a lot of bad news that's happened on the southeast side, but you got to tell people the good news. So for every bad news, there's five good news pieces that you can do here. So, And that is up to us as the CDC to be the champion of the neighborhood, this beacon of light here in this building to make sure that, that folks like you are always emphasized and, and talked about of all the good things that are happening here on the southeast side. The, uh, we know that young people are the ones that are mostly affected by violence. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who are, are affected by the lack of education or not, you know, taking part of the education. Um, you know, the festivals are nice, the older people come down right. and all this stuff. What do we want to say to the young people that need to be at this festival? Well, the one thing that we want to emphasize is that you are not forgotten. Uh, as we started this, this, this event, it was a transition. So we pretty much kept it about the same. But as we move forward, there is going to become a more youthful emphasis. And that is why we added the Friday, uh, to focus on youth and family. That is the whole purpose of the Friday event. Yeah, there'll be an entertainment component, but with my comment, what their focus is on youth and young adults, it is solely focused on youth and young adults to let them know what services are available to them. What, and ask, you really didn't hear them. You know, find out what they need and, and have these discussions with them because the young, young people today are, 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 are a little different in how they communicate, you know, versus how we were raised. They, they use social media platforms, so we have to connect. You know, I've got four daughters ranging from 25 all the way down, so I hit all of them. Um, so it, it is very unique, but Across the board, and I know my, my colleagues here can say, 
the number one issue that youth have is safety. They are scared to go to school. They are scared to even come out and go to some of the rec centers. I know, uh, I know Councilman Johnson is big on his rec centers, but it, it should be a safe haven. But if they're scared to even leave their house to come down there to even enjoy water parks and worry about getting shot or anything, you got to deal with that. And a lot of times we don't listen to the youth. They're telling us what the issue is, so instead of us telling them what they should do, we need to listen to them more and figure out how we tailor make what the neighborhood should look like because they are the future. You know, I'm pushing 50 now, so I'm just here, but they're the future. And if we don't deal with the future, these neighborhoods in the southeast side are never going to evolve into what they should be and once was. Yes, ma'am? Uh, you spoke of uh, Union Miles. What is your relationship with Bulbert and Carr? They have a radio station that reaches out to the youth. Mm -hmm. uh, how, are, how is Bob Busset now involved with that? We are evolving from that perspective. Uh, Tim and I went to college together. We, we know each other quite well. We work with uh, Dawn in their office who comes here and puts a program on here. Um, we have a good relationship, but we are going to evolve into utilizing their radio station more. As a matter of fact, their radio station will be at the event uh, broadcasting live. Um, so they'll be there. Uh, again, it's, it's all hands on deck. And so, you know, as we move from this one event and start talking about more events, because we're having more and more events. We've opened the doors to this building. Rashawn's having events at the Killingsworth Place. So people need to know, so we got to utilize all the platforms, and they are a crucial platform on the southeast side. So without question, that relationship is going to grow. Any other questions? Everybody good? All right, thank you all for coming out, and I hope to see you all on Friday and Saturday.